What's going on guys? It's Connor here and uh, it's been a very long time since I've done any videos and as you can tell by this, uh, very special video today. This is my Starship Troopers mobile infantry uh, helmet kit that I got from goldenarmor.com and very, I, I can't believe I, I even got it done in a day. It, the weathering and the paint job is all me. I followed his video tutorial as closely as I could. And it's it fits my head. I had to, to customize it to fit my head, actually. So the reason why I have it up there like that is so that way the bottom of the uh, cheek protectors can dry. Because it's sort of still not dry yet. And uh, I don't want to bend the, uh, the ch uh, chin strap too much just in case it decides to break. Now, with backstory on this uh helmet uh ever since i first saw the original movie uh starship troopers that came out in 1997 it's directed by paul verhoeven uh i fell in love with the movie it was such a great movie and when i was younger you know it's just military space marines shooting up giant big bugs what was not to love about that when you're like 13 10 12 10 years old and, you know, you get to sit down and watch Starship Troopers with your dad. I thought that was pretty cool. And it was, I fell in love with the costumes and the big guns and the vest and everything. And I have been on the hunt for anything Starship Troopers related for 14 years. I turned 22 at the end of this month. That It's been a very long time. I have been looking for anything starship troopers related i remember i did see the movie when i was very young remember it came out in 97 but i i've been looking for this stuff and i finally found it and it's a dream come true and here it is i i completed it today and i will show you everything uh detail wise without like really uh trying to damage the helmet or anyway so when it came out of the box i'm actually gonna sit that down there when it came out of the box, it was a black resin. It's molded from an actual helmet that was used in Starship Troopers. And the guy that owns it uh, decides to make molds and sell them. So I was lucky enough to actually get my hands on one of them. He still sells a bunch at goldenarmor.com and it got here rather quick. And I'm very happy about it, and it looks great. When it came out of the box, a lot of work had to be done. A lot of excess uh, resin had to be removed, and it was actually really sharp to the point where I almost cut my thumb. And it needed to be sanded down thoroughly, like really, really sanded down. And I did all the sanding and the base coat for it. You need to do like a lot of painting with this. With the base coat that it's supposed to be, it's a deep forest green Krylon. It's like a camouflage color. And then what you're supposed to do is kind of mist over it with a flat black to kind of give it like this almost like dark gray looking like stuff. But like if you look in the light, you can kind of see that it is uh, kind of still a little green. And then I went ahead and I painted the details uh, with black just to make uh, the little... Um, just to make the little vents and everything pop and I decided to add weathering on it and uh, just because I wanted to make this thing a little more realistic and it comes with a microphone. The kit comes with everything you're going to need to assemble this thing. It comes with the, um, the helmet itself, the cheek protectors, the chin strap which was pre-cut which I was really surprised and it comes with a uh, microphone piece and a microphone stick. The stick was a little concerning. I thought that it was going to be like a, a chrome piece of plastic, but it was actually like a clear, almost like glass piece of plastic. So I had to paint that chrome. And what I didn't realize, and here's a little boo-boo that I had to disguise as weathering. Uh, when I was... You, you do have to drill this in as well, so you have to be very careful not to do what I did. And I don't care. I think it still looks great. I, it's a Starship Troopers helmet, guys. Come on. But when I was drilling, I accidentally drilled the mic a little too high. And I I kind of dislodged one of the, the cheek protector that's near it and uh, kind of made it a little messy. So I had to put that up with putty and I, I'm like, well, you know, I don't want to repaint the whole helmet again. It took me a lot of tries to get the color just right. And uh, so I'm just like, I don't, I really don't want to repaint the helmet again. So I put it up, put some putty in there. Made it look roughed up with uh, some heavy weathering there. Makes it a little more realistic, you know. I, I didn't want this, like, to be... 
out of the factory in good condition at all because you know I wanted it to look like like this guy has seen some action and it looks great and on the inside of it and it does come with uh, foam as you guys can see on the inside I've had a little mishaps with the super glue so <laughs> went a little crazy with the glue gun and inside is the actual resin in here so you're gonna have to do a lot of work in there uh, you guys can see right there that there's actually some still pieces of sharp uh, resin in there but it does not protrude into my head uh because i have a fat head and because the foam is in there it does come with foam i was scared that it wasn't going to come with any of the foam but it did and i'm actually really surprised that it fits me and it's a tight fit when i try to put the helmet on but once the helmet is on it's not going anywhere and um I did have some trouble with the Velcro straps, however. In the video, it said that you kind of had to paint the Velcro straps black. They they come white, and uh, I tried doing that, and the Velcro wouldn't stick after I painted it. And luckily, I had some black Velcro lying around after I constructed my ODST uh, costume. And that the rest is history. And I'll give you another detour of the helmet. And in here... Uh, I went inside uh, the ridge here with some black just to kind of give it a little more, uh, just to kind of make that area pop more. I, I went in and I filled these uh, vents here black, as well as over here, right here is black, right there is black. And you guys are wondering, oh, well, it looks messy and everything. Well, the way I did it was I didn't, if I used a, a thinner to get this off, it would have taken off co uh, the paint the base paint and I didn't want that to happen so what I did was I painted it and if I made a mistake I just smudged it off and it also provides a nice looking weathering effect and the thing about doing weathering on full scale stuff it's a huge step up for me so I, I didn't want to over overkill it with weathering I wanted it to be just right and believable with the weathering like what would happen, you know, how, where would this get damaged and everything, like, and I would assume that it would probably get damaged near the cheek protectors, uh, and so on, and, uh, this was a little bit of a boo-boo when I chipped away some paint, and I decided to make that work and, uh, have it chipped away like it's actual metal, and that's pretty much it, this is, uh, my, uh, my full Starship Troopers helmet, um, sadly I'm not gonna put it on because, uh, I, I do, I'm a little scared that this is not fully dry yet, and uh, I'm not really concerned about the inside of the uh, the cheek uh, things. Ah, uh, you know what, what the hell, I'll put it on for the sake of the video. First time you guys are going to see me on camera, so I'm going to be a little shy here. Just get the chin strap on, and there it is. Let's see what I look like now. Surprise! This is what I look like with my ugly mug and my mobile infantry helmet on. I think I look a lot better with the helmet on. But this is it, guys. It actually fits me. Uh, it's actually really comfortable once you put the foam in there. And I've, I'm just having so much nostalgia of when I was a when I was a little kid and I wanted something like this and now that dream has come true for me. So I'm very happy with what I got today and with the amount of work that I have had to do with both of my jobs. And I had some spare time and I decided to get the helmet knocked out because I got home early and it was waiting for me when I got home. So guys, uh, just a little channel update and a uh, little review for you guys also. Take care. Peace. I love y'all.